hello and welcome in this video we bring to you a prefabricated innovative shipping container house built using three 40-foot shipping containers stay tuned to find out more Welcome back. If you love shipping container homes or you are planning on building one, our YouTube channel is a one-stop shop for a complete guide on how to design, how to build, how to insulate, and a collection of hundreds of blueprints for container homes designs. In addition, we also cover case studies of the best homes made from shipping containers from around the world. For this and more, feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing weekly videos. You can also contact us on our website sheltermode.com or follow us on social media platforms through the links in the description below. Is there a shipping container house that you would like us to feature in our upcoming videos? Kindly let us know by posting in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get started. WFH House is a prefabricated innovative shipping container house that incorporates the use of 40-foot recycled shipping containers into a modular building system. Designed by a Danish architectural studio agency, the home is also coupled with an online personalization system that allows clients to customize their own home, including its layout, size, facade, and interior. This 180 square meter WFH house features a predefined framework which, according to the architect, ensures the use of quality materials while also maintaining architectural integrity of the house. Two rows of recycled shipping containers are stacked on top of one another, creating a multi-level home filled with high ceilings, open space, and an abundance of natural light. The flexible space known as the flex space is the heart of the house. The home is made up of an open plan living space, a kitchen that is built into the walls, and four rooms that can be used as bedrooms, workspaces, or recreation retreats. Part of the rooms are double height, creating a perfect lighting condition. For the house. In each end of the flex space, there is access to the surroundings and daylight. This is a fundamental part of the design to be able to open and let in nature. The boundary between inside and outside disappears when the doors open. It is a consequence of having varying requirements for inside temperature and definitions of what domestic functions take place inside and out. The rest of the space is a one-story height defined by the landing that creates access to the spaces on the second floor level. The landing creates access to the second floor but can also be used as a space for play, relaxation, or as a workspace. This space gives the home users the possibility to draw back but still enjoy the company of people in the house below. Most bedrooms are situated on the second floor level. The size of the bedrooms is defined by the half of a module that is 15 square meters each. There are four bedrooms and they can also be used for multiple purposes as indicated earlier. Three of the rooms have windows on two facades, creating a mixed light occurrence. 
it is possible to remove the wall or part of it facing the flex space for a continuous flow of space. This adds flexibility to the layout and also shows the structural system's ability to adapt to different needs depending on the family size. The flex space is also extending to the story above, but because you are on the second story, you are drawn back from the action. It is an ideal place for a quiet retreat and still being able to observe what is going on in the house. The interior walls are lined with 350 millimeters of thick insulation and the exterior is covered with bamboo lining facade. The prefabricated house module has been developed so that it can be replicated anywhere in the world, with the first house finding a home in Wuxi, China. The home also can be adapted to suit a range of climates and it can also be modified to withstand regions with earthquake. The home is further characterized by its sloping south-facing green roof or the north facing for the southern hemisphere, featuring solar panels and skylights. The green roof also facilitates the collection of rainwater, which is then stored underground and used for flushing the toilets, laundry, and general house cleaning. The ingenious use of modern finishes and nice exterior cladding on the house makes you easily assume it is made from any traditional modern materials. Which part of this residence appeals to you the most? Give us your opinion by posting in the comments section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next video.